Hello my friends, so welcoming again to a new session on problem solving. I know triangles is a big, you know, uh, nightmare for so many people, but the only way to deal with it is solve as many problems as possible and you'll see all these troubles melting down. Now in this given question, it's been given that ABCD is a parallelogram. So let us read the question carefully. ABCD is a parallelogram. The moment uh, the word parallelogram comes you know opposite sides are equal and parallel opposite sides are equal and parallel isn't it so this is what we have known about the properties of a parallelogram p is a point on side bc so this point is p d and uh, dp when produced meet ab produced at l nothing to worry about it or very easy to understand and now what you need to prove is that dp upon dc that means this dp upon um dp upon sorry dp upon pl so okay and should be equal to dc dc upon bl okay this is what you have to prove and dc is nothing but if you see ab so in a way while in reading the question itself it is pretty clear that it is going to be true okay so hence direction is very clear and what is uh, the first thing which comes to our mind the moment we such see such a problem so if you see there are parallel lines one is parallel lines right and that too there is a triangle inside a triangle so triangle these two combination and then we are dealing with ratios as well so hence it hints upon using basic proportionality theorem basic proportionality proportionality theorem and what was that dear friends nothing but if you have a triangle you have a parallel line so a b c d e so by bpt if d e is parallel to b c then a d upon d b is equal to a e upon e c no problems in that right now here if you see um, we have similar type of a triangle here and that triangle is so now we will say in triangle a l d if you see b p is parallel to a d isn't it why because b c is parallel to a d and b c and parallel to a d because they are they are parallelogram so this side is parallel to this side right therefore by bpt in this triangle we can say we can say pl pl by dp right so this side by this side is equal to is equal to um, a pl by pl by dp or sorry d uh, PL, uh, PL by DP is equal to BL by AB, isn't it? Is equal to BL by AB. So, uh, I'm let, let me just highlight this triangle. What I'm trying to say is this triangle we are considering, and in this triangle, there is a parallel line. So, hence, it is similar to this case, isn't it? This case, right? So, hence, I could write that. So if you invert it, that is take the reciprocal of both sides, you will get dp by pl is equal to ab by bl, right? And this process is called invertendo. We know this. What is invertendo? a by b is equal to c by d. This means b by a is equal to d by c. Okay. So this is what it is dp by pl is equal to ab by bl okay now we'll again use the property of the triangle of a parallelogram sorry now in this case what was to be found out let us just keep the target closer to us so that you know we always can so let me copy and let me copy this target so that yeah so hence now the target is here for us to see okay so hence you see for the first problem the lhs dp by 
first in the first problem the lhs the lhs here yeah so hence if you see the for the first problem dp by pl is already here and on the right hand side bl is there in the denominator as well here but only difference is ab and dc so we also know that ab is equal to dc since they are sides of opposite sides of a parallelogram hence clearly we can say dp by pl is equal to dc upon bl so hence proved first one is proved why proved because ab is equal to D dc why ab is equal to dc because ab is opposite side to dc in a parallelogram so the first one is done what about the second one so if you see second one uh, we have dl by dp so first understand from the diagram itself where are they lying dl by dp so let us say dl where is dl guys so this entire thing is dl and they are saying dl upon this thing is equal to al is this whole upon dc that is this one which is nothing but ab right so it looks like corollary to the corollary to uh, bpt so hence again you can say in triangle apd or rather you can start from here itself if you see so what do we know we can start from see we want dp in the denominator so we have one relation here where a dp is in the denominator so let's start from here so hence i'm saying pl upon dp is equal to bl upon ab now if you keep the target in mind ab is anyways equal to dc isn't it right ab is equal to anyways dc so we are getting the denominators to be equal we have to just see how to get dl on the top now add one to both sides so dl what is dl dl is dp which is the denominator plus pl right this pl is added to dp to get dl so hence i have to add that so how to get that so i'm i'm writing adding adding one to both sides now this is an important step in many such question adding one because that will give you different different ratios so hence what can i do i can say pl plus dp okay before that pl plus one by dp is equal to bl by ab plus one isn't it now let's take the denominator as common so if i take dp as in the denominator i'll get pl plus dp here it is bl plus ab upon ab now clearly pl plus dp this pl plus dp if you check it is nothing but dl so hence i can write this as dl dl upon dp and what is bl plus ab guys bl plus ab from the figure if you see bl bl plus ab is al so hence i can write this as al by ab now keeping the target in mind c dl dp al three things we have got dl dp and al only dc is left but we know that ab is equal to ab is anybody equal to dc so hence this is nothing but dl upon dp is equal to al upon instead of ab i can write dc so hence we got the result okay so both results were done so learning learning is first of all the theorem the basic theorem underlying concept is basic proportionality theorem and then we also need to observe the patterns the ratios and we also must be ready or must be geared up to work with ratios right so working with ratios also is an important um you know in, ingredient for solving these problems so hence please uh, know how to work with ratios and the fourth thing which you must know is uh componendo 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 dividendo 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 invertendo invertendo and alternando alter nendo we will talk about these ratios uh, you know those operations on ratios in a separate sessions but you must be aware of all these